In this video, we will cover Titan's integration with Salesforce, how to set that integration up, and then how to push and get records from Salesforce and Titan Web. To set up the integration from your Titan Web dashboard, go to Settings. From here, go to the Integrations tab. Scroll down until you find Salesforce. Click Authenticate, and put in the username and password of your integration account. Log in, and that is successful. You can see in the Integrations tab, the name of the user and your org ID. From within Titan Web, I'm gonna go into my sample project here and we will now look at the get and push options for getting data from Salesforce and pushing data to Salesforce. In the little gear icon over on the left, choose Salesforce. And this brings up the Salesforce integration window. Here along the top, you see displayed the name of the user with which you were logged into Salesforce. You see your environment, whether production or sandbox. You have an option here to refresh the metadata. Titan Web caches Salesforce's metadata to keep your Titan account synced with your Salesforce environment. That cache is refreshed about once a week, but you can refresh it manually here. You may need to do that if you're working on a Titan web project and you make a change in Salesforce, like adding a field that will not show up in Titan until the metadata has been refreshed. Turn off integration allows you to turn off all integrations with Salesforce. You may find the need to do that when running tests from time to time. So your options for getting and pushing data to Salesforce. For get, there are two kinds of gets, one for records and one for pick list. Get records is pretty darn simple. It's simply querying information from Salesforce, pulling information from an object for use. In a Titan web project, a pick list get is a connection between a pick list on a Titan web project and a pick list in Salesforce. It will sync the values. Bring the values in from a pick list, such as the type pick list on the case object and populate pick list values in Titan web. The push is used for creating, updating, finding or deleting records in Salesforce. Again, coming from Salesforce objects. The events monitor is where Titan can listen for occurrences within Salesforce platform events. And finally, the integration logs is where you can see the results of your gets and your pushes from Salesforce. For example, if you push data to create an account record in Salesforce, Salesforce will give a feedback here over the API and will show the feedback. If you attempt to push records and an error occurs, the error will be reflected here. And there you have it, Salesforce integration and Salesforce gets and pushes with Titan Web.